Hey guys, today we are going to take a hard look at the monthly magic box and you might ask why do we have to do this over again? Because at this point everyone knows that it's a scam. Every month the person ended with this monthly record. He was paid $7,977.64. He had another $934.38 pending and he didn't ship a single order of that amount of money. So his PayPal was receiving 9K a month and he was not receiving, he was not sending out any orders, sorry. He was receiving the orders and he got the payment, but he didn't send out the monthly magic box unless you were a YouTuber or you were on Twitter or you had your own website promoting the magic monthly box. And the reason we're gonna go over this exercise to see how the scam developed, to see how it was promoted and what red what red flags there are because there's some stuff on YouTube that really are red flags to me and these it's the same red flags I saw with the monthly magic box while most of our community supported the monthly magic box and promoted it like crazy it was kind of interesting so the monthly magic box is a box of magic stuff that they purchased from Dave and Adams and they could get really good prices for them, like the prime time play mat that everyone was really excited about, people were saying that's $20. On Dave and Adams, it's still $8 today, and you can buy as many of them as you want. And if you bought a case of them, I think a case is like 10 or 10 of them, they go down to $6 or $5. The sleeves are also very affordable. The decks, pretty much he purchased every single more expensive item, including the sleeves, the play mats, uh, the intro decks, probably the booster packs for, from Dave and Adams. And there was this, I got into this altercation with a lot of YouTubers uh, over this Ultra Pro Dragon uh, protector, this nine pocket dragon protector uh, binder. And people were saying online it was $20. They were saying, oh, wow, you get your value just from this. Uh, but on Dave and Adams at the time, they're selling for $2.19. I know that because I own about 200 of those. And I just could not, I couldn't buy them out. So your typical package would be some dice, some snacks, a booster pack, some sleeves. Those sleeves are discounted $4 or under. You can still go to the website today to buy them. And then the playmat, which everyone got really excited about, was only $8 at that time. And it's probably still $8 today. The reason that people were excited was they they believed they were getting a lot of value. So when you say that these sleeves are $10 instead of it's $4 and you say the playmat's 20 instead of 8, then you're getting $30 for $24.99 just from those two things and everything else is extra. So the candy and the dice and then the booster pack, like wow, this is a tremendously good deal if you price that way at full retail for merchandise that they cannot get rid of. Dave and Adam still cannot get rid of that same merchandise. Uh, and then they would do a t-shirt and give you some more candy as one of its items. So that was what the monthly magic box was. Why it became popular was promotion. I, we were part of a Facebook group and the Facebook group was really angry at me for making videos saying the monthly magic box is a scam. It's a scam. I told all the YouTubers that it's a scam and this is why I gave them links to Dave and Adam's website and told them that people were not receiving their packages. So here's two things. One component was people were not getting their value that they believed and they were getting because it's being promoted as 40 plus dollars for $25 shipped to you, which is not true. And then the second one was only the YouTubers, only the people promoting it was receiving a package on time. You would have delays of months. You can look at their Facebook. I'm assuming they deleted it by now. People were not receiving packages. In fact, at the end, the last month, they received nine thousand, almost $9,000 of orders and they didn't ship any of them. They did not ship any of those packages. So the promotion part was very smart because I didn't realize at the time, but I was told from the biggest YouTuber now, uh, through the Facebook group, that they were not receiving money. They were just receiving a free box as promotion. And that struck me because I assumed they were getting $8 per box or it was like a loot crate type of deal. And 
where you would sign up using that YouTuber's account. But that wasn't what's happening. So this guy had all this promotion, organic promotion, and the videos, the past videos did not display that they were sponsored, right? Because I guess in their minds, they were not sponsored. They were just receiving a free box and they weren't getting money. I did not know they were not getting money because that part is going to be very important. The guy just got free promotion. Imagine uh, if a YouTuber who just says, send me a free box and the box actually the value is worth $10. If I send you $10, but you can promote this and you can make me $500 in return, you can sign up, let's say 50 people. And out of those 50 people, I make $15 from those people a month. That's how he scaled so fast. And it comes down from his PayPal. Like you can see it from his PayPal. You can see every time someone promoted it, it got a bump. Every time someone promoted it, it got a bump. But the YouTubers, the MTG celebrities in quotations, they never got a piece of that bump. So eventually they turned against them. Uh, and that's simple economics. But what actually is the saddest part is that this was targeted to casual magic players and he got away with it. He got, he did not get arrested to my knowledge. He did not get penalized. He still has all the money in the PayPal. This isn't just the money, right? on the PayPal. This is not just, let me explain what's happening here. He was getting the PayPal money and then he was ordering the stuff using the PayPal money, almost like a pre-order, exactly like a pre-order from David Adams. But then he got too lazy to ship it out. He could have continued this successfully and done an okay job on it. Um, there's still some videos up where, you know, I would just call out this YouTuber. Um, there's a particular YouTuber who kept misvaluing this stuff. And I really believe they were getting money to do it because it doesn't make sense to me why you would degrade or debase your channel to that point unless you were getting money because the box of stuff is kind of crappy. Like, and every time you'd be like, oh, this is an incredible box with so much value. There are deals right now um, that I can see and some of them are good. Like I will point to Rudy's deal. Rudy's deal is very good if you're going to buy boxes. It makes sense to me. That's a deal that that's a deal that makes sense to me. Uh, but there are the deals currently going on. I'm not going to point them out, but they have the same red flags this has, and it's hard to criticize that, right? It's it was so difficult for me to criticize the other YouTubers promoting this product over every month. They would promote this product for a year, uh, six months to a year. They were promoting the product. And some of the YouTubers took down all their videos, so they would not be connected with it anymore. Uh, actually, a lot of them did that. But they were, at one time, all the biggest YouTubers were promoting this monthly Magic Box product. And it never made sense to me because I purchased from Dave and Adams. And I'm looking at, you know, a $20, someone saying a binder is $20. And I just purchased 200 of them for $2.19 each. And then I got a free playmat. Like once those playmats are so bad, they can't get rid of them. And this was years back that they would give it to you for free when you purchase enough stuff. So if you purchase like five hundred dollars of stuff, they give you a, a case of playmats, and that's probably what was going on. So this was a scam. It was verified as a scam. Uh, it's one hundred percent someone taking advantage of the MTG community. And just be aware that the red flags that exist here do exist elsewhere. So before you sign up for something, um, look very careful at how is it being promoted? Who's promoting it? Uh, back then, it's, it's mind numbing to consider that people were promoting this product without even receiving money for it. Like I made the claim that they received money and that's where the, they battled me on that because I did not know. I would have not imagined that they could send 500 people to buy this box and they don't get a cut from that 500 people. That's not how these boxes work. That's not how Loot Crate works. That's not how 1UP Box works. That's not how any of these boxes work. Uh, but that's how this one worked. So that's how they grew so fast was they were getting these this valuable promotion. Let's say this one YouTuber is worth $1,500 in profit and they were just sending them a $15 box of junk. But look, but of course that person sent that box of junk on time and then waited for the pre-orders before sending everyone else's. 
And I feel like I've seen a picture of him. Uh, I, I probably have it still on the Facebook somewhere. And he just doesn't seem capable. Like, I'm not going to describe what he looks like. But he just does not seem capable of having any type of business uh, with any legitimacy. And, you know, overall, it's a very sad aspect of our community is that people do. This is not the only monthly magic box that will be. This is not the only magic scam that will happen. You know, I see these all the time. I see people promoting them all the time. You might be like, why don't you call them out, Lion? I have fought this fight for so long against monthly magic box and final and then Pico Trade too. And finally, you know, the dust is clear and I can make a video like this calling out people who supported it back then. Um, and I was right. I was 100% right about this. It was a scam. It is verifiably scammed. Guy took the money, never sent the boxes. There's no other way to put it. And even past that point, it was very shady because people were giving it tremendous amounts of value when you can just go to Dave and Adams and they will ship it to you for free and they, they will also give you like free stuff after you spend enough money. I've never spent less than $150 at Dave and Adams because that's not what you do. You buy stuff in bulk and then you just kind of keep it around. So overall, uh, it is a very important lesson for you guys to know about. Uh, it's a very historical lesson. And it's one that I have battled. So if you wonder where the MTG monthly magic box, which I don't make those videos anymore because no one gets to joke anymore. Everyone just gets offended. I made a series to mimic it and how people were saying, you know, how valuable this piece of junk was just so they can sell it to their subscribers. And no, and no point did I realize until they told me, until the YouTubers, and there was most of them, told me, hey, we're not getting paid for this. And I said, what do you mean you're not getting paid? Like, why would you promote it so hard when you're not being paid? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And then that's when they all abandoned ship and jumped off it. And that's after they all abandoned ship, kind of like what PicoTrade is. It's economy of scale. Then people started unsubscribing and the orders were not fulfilled because there was no pre-order money coming in. They had to buy more stuff. Then there was pre-order money. And the guy eventually just said, I'm going to keep all $9,000 I have left for this month and not ship out a single box this month or two months. There's actually two months. And that's what happened. So that's the honest story behind the monthly magic box and how it is the biggest scam I've ever seen. It's not going to, well, it's the biggest scam then. There's a scam that is even bigger now. I just cannot attack it like because too many people support it. So I'm not going to even mention what it is because it's, if you're smart enough, you can kind of figure out what I'm talking about. I have not, I've never alluded to it at all in my videos because I've stayed really far away from it because people love, love it. It's being promoted heavily and it, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. But again, I have different, I have different, I, I guess I like different stuff than you guys. And that was always the critical point that they would say to me that, oh, you don't understand a monthly magic box. It's not a scam. It's great value for the casual player. You're MTG finance. You suck. And I would be like, okay, fine, fine. You guys win. You guys win. Um, the same with PicoTrade. PicoTrade, I turned down one of their offers way before. And then the second offer came out. I turned it down. The, it was the same offer. It was promote pre, that you can ship pre-release cards early on PicoTrade. Uh, and they told me what to say. They had a script. And lo and behold, I turned it down and my YouTuber accepted it. Now, they could have made offers to everybody. But I assumed at that point they were not doing that because right after... Tolarian and the Mana Source made videos against PicoTrade, right? So I'm assuming that they didn't send those to them uh, because there was already a bad relationship. And some of the writers also came out against it because they were being paid in Pico points, pretty much below minimal wage. I pay my content writers a lot more than $15 in Pico points, which is like $10 in real money if you can get it out. Anyway, this is a long rant, but I did want to make a video describing. Um, how this scam came to be and to break it down eventually i will break down puka tray completely and tell you exactly who did what how it was uh, promoted how it was sponsored but i'm not 100 percent. i i'll wait for that to um I, i'll need to wait for it to completely fail right now they're re-ramping and it looks good in my eyes maybe they i never disliked it i just disliked that people were getting free points 
lots of free points because that creates a gap in the economic system. And of course, when someone's getting $15,000 of free magic cards, they look at it differently than someone who's getting no, or getting $3.50. And this creates this inflation thing where it's just real bad. But anyways, that's it guys. Leave me a comment below if you purchased a monthly magic box or if you heard of it. it I wanted to make this video from my own documentation that yes, I was correct, it was a scam. It's been long enough and it's verified as a scam. Uh, and I know it's a scam because it went out of business and it has lots of bad reviews. Anyway, bye guys.